Well, if you take vitamins or supplements, there's a good chance you're taking it as a gummy. Over the last decade, there's been an explosion of gummy formulations. But the fact that you're taking your supplement as a gummy has a lot of people thinking there can't be a downside if you're lifting up your health. But the sweetness of those gummies can have a sour side. Vitamins and supplements are almost as American as apple pie. Check out the vitamin aisle in your local pharmacy and the options can be overwhelming. Want better sleep? They say try melatonin. Want more energy? Give vitamin B a chance. I take vitamin C um, really for my immune system mm -hmm. to try to strengthen that so I don't get sick as much. According to the Council for Responsible Nutrition, almost 75% of American adults take dietary supplements, with 55% qualifying as regular users. The growth aided by the explosion of gummy vitamins popular for their taste and ease but that's part of the problem. Would you be surprised to know that some gummies actually have as much sugar as candy? I would not because when I try them they are so tasty and sweet. So this is how we make my education. Pierre Boutros is owner of Mills Pharmacy and Apothecary. He gave us a tour of their state-of-the-art compounding facility where they can make custom formulations of medicines, including gummies. He says gummies can contain up to one-third of the recommended maximum daily sugar intake. And that's the downside of it. Again, the added of sugar, the dye. And then there's the potential for overdose. The bright colors and fruity flavors that make gummies popular among children and adults can be an issue. When kids look at the vitamins or the supplement as candy, uh, they tend to take more than we're supposed to. And this is where uh, parents uh, have to pay very close attention. Melatonin is one of the most popular supplements in America. From 2012 to 2021, calls to U.S. Poison Control reporting pediatric consumption of melatonin skyrocketed more than 500 percent. Another sticky issue with gummies? They degrade faster than traditional pills and capsules and become less potent over time. To compensate, manufacturers may infuse gummy supplements with more of the key ingredient. I reached out to Dr. Varun Vorab, a board-certified clinical toxicologist and director of the Michigan Poison and Drug Information Center. In a statement, he cites a 2023 study of 25 melatonin gummy brands that finds that most products were inaccurately labeled and could expose users to adults 40 to 130 times higher than necessary to produce the intended effects. So what can you do to avoid the pitfalls of gummies? Choose gummies manufactured by reputable retailers and are third-party tested. Look for a certification stamp. Choose a brand low in sugar and in additives. Stick to the recommended dose and keep all supplements gummies or not, out of the reach of kids. But make sure you keep it stored, treat it as a medicine. Now, another option is to have a compounding pharmacy like Mills actually make the supplements for you. It does sound expensive, but I asked Pierre how much it'll cost, and he says it's really not much more expensive than the prepackaged version on store shelves. And all of this begs the question, who's watching all these gummy supplements? Well, supplements are regulated by the FDA, but as a food, not as a drug and not as a medicine, and that is a lower standard. And much of the FDA's role doesn't begin until after those supplements hit store shelves. So a lot of us have to look out for ourselves when it comes to vitamin and supplement.